What's going on guys? Welcome back to Peak Performance. Today, I'd like to demonstrate for you guys just that, the peak performance of my new 2021 Jeep Wrangler 4xE. So this hybrid powertrain actually has um, supposedly a zero to 60 time of six seconds flat. Now my Jeep, of course, as you guys maybe have seen in some of my other videos, I am rocking 35s. So I seriously doubt that we're gonna get the 6.0 second claimed zero to 60 time, but I do wanna find out what is it? Is it seven seconds? Can we get six and a half seconds? Who knows? So that's something I want to do today. So come with me guys. Let's get this thing unplugged and let's go for a ride. So for today's test, I'm trying to make sure we have pretty ideal conditions. It's about 60 degrees out today here in Metro Detroit. Uh, it's nice and sunny, it's looking good. Now, as far as fuel goes, we also have the minimum amount of fuel. Uh, the gas light is on and we have uh, not too much battery, but about 9% left. So it should be enough to at least get us a few quick EV poles and see where we're at. So as you can see, we've got about three miles and our fuel is uh, at the minimum. So as you can see too, just an update, I've got 437 miles. I think this thing had 25 miles on it when we took delivery and we have not had to get fuel yet. So um, pretty good range. I mean, obviously this is a lot of just, you know, daily EV driving where we're minimally using the gas engine, but you know, we may be able to get, you know, almost 500 miles out of this thing uh, before our first fill up. So pretty cool. So one thing to mention before we pull out of the uh, road here is for the best performance per the owner's manual, you do want to have it in hybrid mode. So this should give us uh, kind of the best performance in all full 375 horsepower that we are hoping for. So just up ahead here, we do have kind of a nice uh, long bit stretch of road that we are going to try to use for this endeavor. So let's go ahead, start here, let some cars pass and let's give this a shot. Got some wheel hop. So she gets up and going pretty good. So kind of my strategy on this is just to go down the same stretch of road both ways and maybe do about four passes and just kind of average out uh, what the times are that we're seeing. So we'll probably stop right about here. Give it a little brake torque again. The speed limit on this road is 55, so we're technically not even speeding. All right, guys, so after quite a few uh, pulls, we probably did five or six, just going back and forth. Like I said, this is a pretty reasonably a straight piece of road. We do not have professional timing equipment. We're using an iPhone 8 uh, stopwatch. And what I got was around seven seconds. Um, so I had one that was 6.88 seconds and then a few that were around 7.1 to 7.3. Um, so there are some differences too where it seems to be a bit slower if you just try to, uh, from a stop, just punch it. Uh, so you do need to add some brake torque. Um, you know, left foot on the brake, right foot giving it some gas, let the turbo build some boost, and uh, you know, you can get the tires to, to spin a little bit on takeoff. So that seemed to work the best and gave me around that seven second mark. So about a second off from what uh, FCA claims, which, which that's what we expect because guys, frankly, look, FCA, the zero to 60 and six seconds flat, that's of course with stock tires. Um, who knows what they tested with? I'm not sure if that was a Rubicon with 33s or if that was uh, maybe a Sahara, um, you know, something like that. That can make a difference. But we do have low fuel, um, so that's saving us some weight there. I am the only one in the car, um, so it does make it a little bit difficult for testing. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty respectable given that we have uh, quite a bit taller tires and uh, also uh, heavier tires. Now, there could also be some difference where when I'm showing 60, I'm actually maybe going 62, 63. Um, so it could be actually slightly faster. So we may be in the high sixes in reality uh, if I had a corrected speedometer or recalibrated speedometer, right? But anyway, I think that's still pretty great. I mean, my old Jeep with the V6, which was a 2018 JL, I mean, it was, boy, she was slow. I mean, she couldn't even 
take a 10% grade on the expressway without you know dropping from 80 down to 60. You know, it, it was horrible. So this new one has plenty of power. Uh, it, it's, it's really quite amazing. I mean, especially with that tax credit, um, the value proposition is definitely there. So I'm super impressed, I'm happy with it. Maybe we'll do some different runs down the road. One thing I wanted to surprise you guys with was I was actually gonna take the Jeep over to my local drag strip, Milan Dragway, but unfortunately I found out because of COVID, they are right now permanently closed. So it sounds like they're having some financial troubles. Uh, there's some court, you know, litigation happening. So we'll see what happens. That's basically the most popular uh, drag strip in Michigan. So hopefully uh, if they do lose it, someone else buys it and keeps it going. But they used to do a Wednesday test and tune uh, from like five o'clock on. So I was planning to try to get over there and get some actual timed uh, performance from this Jeep and see what it could do. But it looks like that'll have to wait a little bit longer uh, we may have to try to go to a different drag strip, but I'm hoping I can get that for you guys in a little while. All right, guys, so I'm actually at the gas station for the first time with my Jeep 4xe and uh, filling up. And something you guys should know is this, uh, since it has the turbo four cylinder, it does need 93 octane. Now, of course, it will run on 87 standard pump, but if you really want to get the full performance uh, from the turbo four cylinder and all 375 horsepower, you do want to run 93 octane. We got about uh, 420 miles uh, on our first uh, fill up. So I think that's pretty great. Obviously most of that's from uh, a lot of the days where we did EV only. But again, for us, the way we drive, you know, a lot of our stuff short commutes, I mean, we can almost, we could probably get six, 700 miles, especially once we get our new EV uh, uh, level two charger, we'll be able to get maybe 50 miles a day, uh, pure electric. So that should really help us out a lot. So we're looking forward to that. So looking here at the info guys, um, this has not been reset, this trip B since we got the vehicle. And so you can see we've gone uh, 445 miles, total which matches also the miles on the vehicle and we have actually averaged uh, for the gasoline engine about 20.8 mpg which is really i think no big surprise pretty standard for the turbo four um, and out of this range we've driven 246 miles by gas and 199 miles uh through the uh just strictly the battery so pretty cool uh you know again once we get this level two charger and we can recharge this thing within two hours rather than 15 hours uh, i think we're going to be able to double that um, in between our gas fill up so you know we may be able to go 600 miles uh between fill ups which is just it's going to be pretty freaking awesome because who wants to come to the gas station i mean they got awesome snacks some slurpees and beef jerky and stuff but you know i got better things to do than sit here and fill up so so far i'm loving just being able to come home i plug my uh, jeep right in and i'm good to go you know and it's going to be weeks in between gas station stops so pretty stoked about that anyway guys that's going to be it for this one if you're new to the channel check out some of my other videos we have some builds on our death cart which is a pontiac solstice where we swapped in a v8 uh, it's about 2,300 pounds with 400 horsepower. Uh, I've got some other cool stuff like some go-kart builds we did. So I'm going to keep adding to this channel and uh, just stuff that I'm working on, stuff that I like. So if, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And uh, if you want to subscribe to see more stuff, I'd sure appreciate it. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.